Hi there, I am Michael from Polygonic. Welcome to this quick breakdown of an animation I made few months ago for a new botanic release. Firstly, I would like to say that this video is not meant for complete beginners, although I believe it can be interesting for artists on any skill level. I am not going to explain every single step, we are just going to briefly take a look at the whole process of creating such animation from start to finish. And along the way, I will point out some useful tips and tricks. We will start in Blender by creating the scene and preparing an animation for final render and then we will jump into DaVinci Resolve, which is a video editing software where the final magic happened. So let's cut to the chase. First I usually add a camera to the scene and try to figure out a basic composition. Having a roughly specified camera view prevents me from doing extra work and helps me to create a good looking layout. I like to always keep my camera view in the second window to see what's going on. I made the terrain by adding a plane, subdividing it and using proportional editing. What I also like to do is sculpting the terrain. It gives me a little more freedom. Then I made a fence, which was pretty simple. I added a low poly cylinder with subdivision modifier, modeled few variants of branches and built a fence. The wood I used is for material like add-on. It's our material library we use on projects and also sell on Blender Market. I put a link in the description if it's something that interests you. After that, I added grass. It's something I always hated doing, but with Botanic, it didn't take that much time. We have a number of pre-made grass presets that you can easily control. As a base, I used Alpine Meadow preset from Weeds category to make it look like wilderness, and used weight painting to create a road. Then I added a second particle system with basic short grass. Separating the particle systems like this gave me a lot more control. Third particle system I added was a dry grass preset to emulate a dead grass from car tires. When I was satisfied with the road, I spawned a tree of my choice from Botanic and also a few bushes behind the fence. To make bushes seem natural, I selected all of them and used a random transform feature that I randomly rotated and scaled them. For the lighting, I used a HDR texture, again for a material like add-on, and adjusted the rotation to get the sun approximately behind the tree. Doing so brought the tree to life and made a nice translucency effect on the leaves. This light position also casted some shadows in front of camera, which made a clear focus point on the horizon and the birds. To make it look even more fabulous, I added a mist, a huge cube over the whole scene with a principal volume node plugged into volume in material output. Now I was finally getting those good rays that everybody loves. Only thing left was animating the camera. I chose two views that I liked, made two keyframes and gave it linear interpolation. To make it look more dynamic, I also added few flowers in front of camera. For managing my renders, I use another add-on render set. I can't imagine working without it anymore. If you are interested why, my colleague made a short video about it on our YouTube channel. When I'm rendering animations, I select all render passes I think I might need, because it's basically free and generating them again would take a long time. This animation was rendered over the weekend. So as always, I calculated how many hours do I have before I will need to use my PC again, and adjusted the render quality accordingly. After my work in Blender was done, I jumped into DaVinci Resolve. If you are not familiar with DaVinci, it's a complex software from Blackmagic for video editing, color correction, visual effects, audio post-production and so on. A really great tool for the price of zero dollars. First thing I did after importing my renders into the project was adding a background. The photo I used is from Pexos.com, which is a site with free to use content. To bring some life into it, I added few birds on the horizon. I found this free to use birds on green screen and with some masking and timing adjustment I achieved the look I liked. Then I got into color grading, which is a process of adjusting colors to achieve a desired mood or just to enhance the picture in general. I adjusted highlights, shadows and some colors. One important thing I did here was increasing luminance for orange color on the tree to accentuate the light passing through the translucent leaves. It was almost perfect, but to make it look even more fairy tale, I added bloom on the horizon and the tree. I simply used a yellow gradient and chose the best looking blending mode. Then I added flying dust particles, which are just overlaid pre-made video with black background I downloaded on YouTube. And that was about it. Only thing left was hitting a render button. I hope that you learned something new in this video. If you want to see more of our content, you can follow us on social media. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.